Hey guys, Claudius here with a budget guide for the bonus stage in the color of Heartlessness, which is Hyo's event. And yes, we are going to cheese this fight as far as possible. So the key is to basically lies on the first two stage. If we can one or two turn or three turn kills the first two stages, we should be able to survive the third stages just fine. So this is the theme I'll be bringing. First, you need to bring Zon. So Zon is the primary player against the stage 3 boss, which is Imkangir. We cheese using Zon before, now we are going to use Zon again to cheese Imkangir. His equipment. Well, before that, everybody on the team must have paralysis and stone resistance. That, that's a must, guys. Everyone must have those two at the minimum. Okay, so now Zon is equipped with light weapon to deal light damage against the stage 2 boss, Greater Demon. Also override to boost limit burst fill rate. We want to use Zon's LB to accomplish the mission for stage 2. MP, this one will give him more MP, more MP and HP. This is the, yeah, just the resistance, paralysis and stone resistance, and then this one will give him auto limit, 2 limit burst per turn this one will give him MP regen per turn and dual cast, so we will want to dual cast race with Zon on stage 3 and Cradle of Horns will be used on stage 2 if we take a long time to fill the Esper orbs this is Zon Next we have Ritos of the Earth, which is an AoE physical cover tank as well as the Provoke tank. You'd want a Ritos of the Earth with Paralysis and Stone Resistance again, and also 100 Fire Resist. The rest you just need to give him a lot of HP and Defense, that's what you need here. We have Melidol. Melidol is basically going to, the, going to be the Breaker. She would break the attack and magic of Brachiosaur on stage 1. So give him a lot give her a lot of MP stuff here because she will also chain with Lexa, which is our chainer, tornado chainer. Frozen Hurricane can chain with Tornado. Dual cast to dual cast Kuraga. Yeah, that's it guys. So she will break and she will chain that's what she does she do she does okay moving on we have garnet our summoner so we'll be using garnet to fill up the asper gudge on the first stage because one of the mission requires you to kill brickiosaur with an asper so ideally garnet can get her limit burst up on turn two so we can clear everything within two turns if not she will keep using pre the eidolons and she will also play a big part on stage 3 against Intangir. She'll play hide and seek together with Zon. So she will hide, Zon will also hide. And she's Intangir. So a lot of spirit and a lot of a decent amount of HP. So basically Garnet will be the only survivor on phase 3, on stage 3. Because she has high spirit and high HP. So just make sure that your Garnet setup can survive the preemptive strike from Intangir. Intangir will do a preemptive meteor strike. This is her. Well, I don't really use the stone resistance because I don't expect Garnet to die. On stage 3, this Petrify is going to be the dangerous one since I will keep my Garnet alive at all time. She doesn't really need that Petrify, but Paralysis, Greater Demon on stage 2 will use Paralysis when we cross the threshold well dragon lord is supposedly to be your friend but i cannot find a dragon lord with this setup so this dragon lord must have 100 percent magic demon killer at least and then immune to all status ailments as well as domineering spirit yeah just as high magic as possible so 1350 still work 1350 magic would still work this is the dragon lord you want and also this is yeah you ideally you'd bring lexa instead of dragon lord so this is supposedly your own chainer 
Lexa, just a decent, well, a decent amount of equipments. High MP, like a lot of MP stuff. This one will boost magic by 20%. Also immune to paralysis and petrify. And what is most important is this main effect at Neta's side. You'll be needing this at least once during stage 1. If you're lucky, if you're unlucky, probably two times main effect at Neta's side. This will seal magic damage from Brachiosaur Ultima. So if you cannot brute force handle the Ultima, then you should have main effect at Neta's side here. And this is the team, and let's move on. Let's go! These are the missions against Brachiosaur, so deal fire damage 2 times or more, no items, and defeat the Brachiosaur with an Asper. So first, Brachiosaur is gonna start with a preemptive strike, where he will put up a resistance against physical and magic attack for 1 turn, and then boost attack and magic. We will dispel that attack and magic boost using Zon's Twist of Fate, can steal the magic buff. Of course, we need to kill with an Esper. Let's have prayer of the Eidolons. Now we wanna defend against the enemy's attack. So there's gonna be incoming AoE physical attack. Uh, so we need to break the attack and magic. Also, main effect on the side to seal the Ultima that will come later on. Here, Super Channel Anger. Because even if we attack him, he will not die. So that is the Ultima, which got sealed, and Veritas of the Earth will nicely gather the Limit Burst Crystals for us. Hopefully Garnet can fill her Limit Burst right here, but nope, doesn't happen. Anyway, I'm gonna continue again with this prayer to the Eidolons, and Dragon Lord will use Kavris. Do not want to hurt this Reckless Sword too bad. Okay, 14%, look at that. Yeah, like, carries like 6 times more damage there, or maybe 8 times more damage, so 14 times 8, definitely I can kill Brachiosaur in one hit. And over here, let's see here, okay, so, so we dealt with 1 damage early, over here, let me put up a defensive barrier. This is turn 2, and Melidol will help with the healing here, because Veritas of the Earth is hurt. Zon... Yeah, Zon will not do anything, at least right now. Defend, and here Lexa... I'll be using... Yeah, also not be doing anything here, just save up MP. Hopefully we can get an Esper Orb. Okay, perfect. So we can clear Brachiosaur this stage. So I'll be using Predator Eidolons. So now, yeah, so basically now, yeah, Garnet has already has the Esper Gush up. And we know that Dragon Lost Caprizal can deal a lot of damage. So we're gonna chain cap with Phoenix Esper. Frozen Hurricane and Tornado just in case. Yeah, basically just chain up Cavrizel, chain cap Cavrizel with Tornado and Frozen Hurricane, and then finish it with a Phoenix Esper for the for the Phoenix kill. two times or more, well, with Phoenix is three times fire damage, and then defeat the Brachiosaur with an Esper. Let's see whether it works or not. Okay, done deal. So next, moving on onto the Greater Demon level 99. These are the missions against the Greater Demon level 99, so you need to deal light damage 3 times or more, use Limit Burst, and defeat it with magic. 
So basically this is the hardest among the three or so I thought because we will need to cross the threshold. So the key here, you need to cross the threshold every turn. So basically the first two turn, you need to pass the 70% threshold and then the second turn you need to pass the 50% threshold. And this is going to be difficult because we are chaining Frozen Hurricane with Tornado. They are not elemental chain, so you cannot really fully damage the Greater Demon with that. Unless you can do Spark Chain, but IRS Spark Chain has, is broken. Okay, actually this is much better than I thought, so 52%. And what I can do here actually is to... Let's see here. Use Holy twice. So Holy... I must have done a Spark Chain earlier. So you build this... Light damage twice, and then this one reversal. Okay, so you you've already used a limit burst as well as dealt light damage three times because Exon like, is equipped with light elemental weapon. Over here, you wanna provoke. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually, yeah, well that's actually a little bit too much damage, but it's okay. You do not want to pass the, f yeah basically you do not want to cross the 20% threshold right now. Just got to maintain it here guys. Yeah, somehow. But anyway, uh, let's see here, yeah I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna heal up, because if I don't heal up, the poison damage will kill me. So I'm gonna use two, two Kuraga. And Zon will use Twist of Fate. So Zon dealt with the limit burst already, so Zon has nothing to do. So this Twist of Fate will boost Dragon Lord's magic stats to 1656, so that was like 50% or something. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 100% magic boost. So I'm gonna chain up here. Tornado. And what I'm gonna do here is actually have Veritas of the Earth use Remedy on Garnet so that she can be cured of poison just in case we can kill Greater Demon right over here. Of course, we need to kill Greater Demon with magic. I need to use this Tornado and Aeroja. So Great Demon died, and I use Remedy on Garnet. So Garnet will start the battle, next battle, fresh, in a way. So let's see where I can kill him with magic here. Hopefully it works. Perfect. So we got this done. Moving on, onto the final boss. Basically this is the toughest one. The next one is gonna be cheesing time. And here guys, these are the missions against Intangir. Use no more than 3 items, evoke an Esper, and defeat the Intangir with a Limit Burst. So basically Intangir will do a preemptive strike, but we've already made sure that we cured ourselves earlier here. We should be able, well Garnet should be able to survive this preemptive strike at least. Oh, apparently Veritas of the Earth survived that as well. Wow, amazing. Amazing. Okay, I guess what I will do right over here is to... Yeah, I'm gonna be bold here, guys. So I'll do a dual white magic race on... Zon and on the healer, since we have these two. And Veritas of the Earth will use... Well, we are allowed to use items, so he will use this item, let's see here. Phoenix down, so that's the first item. 
So everybody survives here. And Dragon Lord will use Super Channel Anger. Okay, so now the hiding game begins. So here I'll use, let's see here. So these two will hide. Garnet will also hide. And we will have an attacking party here. Veritas of the Earth will use the spell. That's why he is equipped with Carbuncle. Carbuncle has the spell. And then Dragon Lord will chain cap with. Yes. Chain capping it with. Lexa. Ooh, 39%. That's not too bad. <laughs> Rid of the Earth Black has a poison, so does everyone else. It's fine, it's fine. So this is a cheesing game, guys. So here I will dual cast. Let's see here. Okay, so Zon will dual cast race on your Dispeller and your Finisher. Because the next turn, this is what they will do. Dispel and use Carousel. Zone will lie low. Let's see how many percent? 61 percent in two. Okay, 52 percent. So there was nine percent damage. Basically, this is the easiest part among the three because of the cheese. Oh, perfect! We can probably kill them right here. So we dealt 39% damage. Okay. So let me use dual cast race on Dragon Lord and here. And here also race. Ritas the Earth and. Okay, maybe a bow. And I'll be clearing this, hold on. Okay, and we can attack right over here. Let's see here. Dispel with... Because like we dealt 39% damage, so I will dispel Veritas of the Earth. Okay, and attack by chain capping Dragon Lord and Nidal. 24%. So we still need that additional... Yeah, we still need that additional Esper Orbs there, somehow. Up of MP. Line low. Well, Veritas of the Earth will use this spell again. And here, cover zone. Okay, 14%. Okay, so that bacteria page was like a stone, if you saw that. Without a stone immunity, a unit will get petrified and cannot be resurrected. So I think this is the end game here, guys. Maybe not. So let me just take it slow. So dual cast. Race and race, and I need to get the Esper mission complete. Spell and cover zone and hide again. Where 
where's the hype? Okay, hype and Lilo. Six percent. Wow. Okay, so that was around eight percent damage, right? So the next Carvazal should be able to kill Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord. Er. Okay, let me just revive. Okay, let me use dual cast race. And here, during the work. So what I want to do here is actually not dispel this guy. So I'll use Kavris here. Oh, maybe I'll just yeah, I'll use Kavris. And I'll use Carbon Bolt. So the missions are to use no more than 3 items. We haven't done that. Evoke an Esper. And defeat the Tanya with Unit Burst. Also done, and here hide next turn or next couple turns. And Thunder is gonna die. Definitely. Perfect. So dual re race, dual re race. So this is the end game, guys. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, not sure why we we'll even raise Lexa because he, well, she can't contribute anything right now. So what I would do here is use Zon to steal Twist of Fate and use the finisher from Veritas of the Earth and finish it. So let's see the missions. Evoke and Esper done, no more than 3 items done, and defeat Intangir with Limit Burst done. Yeah, maybe I'll just use Turbo Eater on Lexa so that she can chain. Just to be on the safe side, not everyone can get the HP2 as low as that. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. I wonder which one hit first, whether it was the Caprisol or it was the Limit Burst. That's gonna suck if it's the Limit Burst hits first. It's a 90 energy quest here. Okay, we did it guys. So that's how we can clear this fight in a budget way. So I hope this video is kind of give you an idea on how you can clear this fight And literally cheese this fight. So thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of such content. Bye bye guys.